Mark, I wanted to play a clip from an interview I did with the Martin family attorney, Daryl Parks, about an hour ago, where he said race is not an issue in this trial. I just want to play that. I think you have to distinguish that. When you have a situation where uh, we see that George Zimmer is talking in the 911 tape and describing uh, what he was seeing in, in, in Trayvon Martin and calling him suspicious, we don't believe the focus was really race. Additionally, the charge that he is facing has nothing to do with race. Bringing race into this situation does nothing but make people pick sides and, and invoke some prejudice into the proceedings. We don't want that. We want Mr. Zimmerman to have a nice, fair, and just trial. So we're, we're going to have more of that interview coming up tonight. Our attorney Daryl Parks and his partner Ben Crump have been handling legal matters for Trayvon Martin's family. Daryl Parks has been sitting with the family in court. Now, I already played a bit of my interview with him tonight. Here's more of that conversation. I appreciate you being with us, Mr. Parks. As the Martin family attorney, how do you think Rachel's testimony went today? I think Rachel's testimony was great, Anderson. She um, stood fast. Her te testimony was consistent. And as you see, she, through various attempts to impeach her, held her own. She, she seemed less combative in her testimony today <clears throat> than, than yesterday. Did you or any of your colleagues prepare her for today's testimony or give her advice on, on what to do differently? Now, she has her own counsel in this case. However, remember, yesterday she came at the latter part of the court day, so she was tired, and most people sitting in court were, were tired, and we went fairly late, so I, I believe that she was just tired. Obviously, once she was given a chance to rest overnight, came back, and she was a great witness. She was very respectful to the court and gave very concise answers. So, so you're just saying neither you nor, nor Mr. Crump uh, gave her advice about uh, what to do differently today on the stand? No, as a matter of fact, I believe that she was in the custody of the agents. We had no access to her whatsoever. D did you feel that the defense attorney, Don West, was, was too harsh with, uh, with her today? Well, I think Mr. West's presentation spoke for itself. You know, I try to make sure that I don't um, criticize lawyers and their styles, but I think that, you know, I don't believe Mr. West is really connected with that jury, but we'll see from their verdict. You gave a press conference after court today where, where you said that the Morton family wanted to make it clear that, quote, race was not a part of this process. But, but a lot of the prosecution's opening statement was about George Zimmerman <clears throat> profiling Trayvon Martin. Well, Anderson, I think you have to distinguish that. When you have a situation where... Uh, we see that George Zimmer is talking in the 911 tape and describing uh, what he was seeing in, in, in Trayvon Martin and calling him suspicious. We don't believe the focus was really race. Additionally, the charge that he is facing has nothing to do with race. So you don't believe that George Zimmerman felt Trayvon Martin was suspicious because he was African American? No, I, I think he saw a person who had a hoodie on, who was walking. He didn't know who he was. It was a rainy night. It was dark. And so he thought that maybe he was seeing some of the previous conduct that he had seen in his neighborhood. So he decided at that particular point that these people always get away with it. And on that night, he was not going to let it happen. And, and when, you're, when he was referring to, you know, these people or, or um, blanking punks, as he said, you don't think that was in, in all a reference to African-American youth? Well, I, th I think he saw someone that he thought was highly suspicious. He thought someone he thought was up to something bad and that he wanted to do something about it. I think it's important, though, for purposes of where we are now, we're in a court case. Bringing race into this situation does nothing but make people pick sides and, and invoke some prejudice into the proceedings. We don't want that. We want Mrs. Zimmerman to have a nice, fair and just trial. You're sitting with, uh, with Trayvon Martin's parents. How are, how are they holding up? We've seen them get up a number of times at various points uh, when some of the testimony is very graphic or their pictures shown. How are they holding up? It's very tough. And so they're taking it piece by piece. I think the state is making sure they try to give us some advance notice about some of the sensitive parts. But, you know, you've had situations, for example, when Trayvon's face was shown and some of the evidence. I mean, it was tough for Tracy because that was one of the pictures that he used to identify Trayvon's body. And showing that picture in court really invoked that. So that was a sensitive moment. And mom has had some issues, you know, just hearing some of the 911 tapes and hearing the, the gunshot that killed your child um, is it, very tough. So they're doing, they're maintaining, um, they are, are here to see it through. Um, they are very encouraged by what they're seeing here in court. 
and in the job that the state of Florida is doing to present this case. Uh, Mr. Parks, I appreciate your time. Thanks for being on. Thank you for having me.